A safe journey for life after death. How to reach your final goal of life safely. A informative authentic way to reach the goal of heavenly home. Allah Almighty gave eyesight. He only shows the sure way. In this video, you will get a great mountain of true knowledge and also get the online links to Islamic sites for Quran meaning, recitation, Quran online audio and transliteration, learning, Holy Quran, Islam, Jesus, Mary, Allah, Muhammad, Final Prophet, Hell, Heaven, etc. On my YouTube video channel, many links are here for different, interesting info, you may not heard before. Please explore further, select, click, watch and make yourself spiritually rich. Immediately. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Here we go to the point, after the brief details. What about your duty to Almighty Allah and your salvation and success of your soul? It is no less than what me and others are required to do. All of us, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, atheists, and others, are on the same boat. Real life starts after death. That is a permanent life. Your struggles of this life will bear fruit there. If you followed Allah's guidance, prophetic way of solving the issues, then don't worry, Allah will take care of you and pardon you for you. But we must not be loose-minded. Be serious and follow the signs of the Holy Quran for entry to eternal heavenly home. This is your real and the ultimate, final goal. So please don't neglect this goal. Watch this video till the end. Like, share and subscribe. The core issue here is, we all are in a race and we are like participating horses. We must not rest until we reach our goal. Our goal to achieve is not the hellfire. Right. Are you sure about this or not? It will be our heavenly home. We will get it from Almighty Allah if we failed in following Allah's instructions. Allah has tied our worldly life and this race called as our life to our final destiny. Anyone not learning properly in the school or college for exams will surely fail. That is the default result already written. Similarly, default for eternal result is life in the hell. But to get an enter heavenly home, you must earn credits by following Allah's guidance Islam. Islam is not a new religion. It's the truth from Allah, existing from always, as Allah is there from always, without any starting point for his existence. Nothing or none is there in the creation who is older than Almighty Allah actually since ever without birth. If you take universe AA mobile phone and men, women, children, trees, seas, sky, rivers, water, air etc. all as parts of the mobile, there will be written inside the mobile its date of its birth or manufactured date. As nobody created Allah, he doesn't have age and date of birth. If we do not follow our life according to Allah's guidance, instructions, rules and regulations, then we will fail and Allah will not give us heavenly home. Think building a house in this world. How many rules of the government you have to follow and how much planning, money, labor work, materials, time etc. goes into it. Take a notebook, pen and gather your info. By default, everybody will go to hell, because they didn't take this warning of Allah Almighty God, and the goal, seriously. They did not follow the rules and instructions of the owner, landlord, of the heaven. But people who want to go to heaven, they have to follow approved religion of Almighty Allah. This is what Allah informed from the beginning, when he sent Adam alayhi salam, the first prophet of Allah and the father of all people. If you bring one seed, and you plant it in a few years, the tree will produce fruits and seeds and the same keeps multiplying. Thus Allah increased the human population through our first parents, Adam alayhi salam and Hawa alayhi salam. These human populations, that we are part of, we all are spread from today's Saudi Arabia, to Japan, Korea, Americas, Northern and Southern Hemisphere, Africa, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, West Indies, China, Europe and remote islands in the distant oceans. Keep the above argument in front of you now. And read below, why do some people in your country raise the voice against Islam and say and insult Islam and Muslims as follows? Why is Islam here? It's an alien foreign culture, it's unwelcome here, Islam is not compatible to our culture and society, we must send all Muslims and Islam back to their countries from where they came, etc. Most of these people are in Korea, and Europe, some are in Japan and so on. Answer for these cheap language and mentality, I have given below. Our first parents, as said above, they lived in the area of Jeddah city of today, near holy land of Kaaba in Mecca. All these are in the Arabian desert country known today as Saudi Arabia, in the olden times it was called as Hejaz. Here is the secret point why you should know more about your roots and history of Arabia. So now you can see clearly from where your roots reach to the place or country which you say today is yours Korea, Japan or other. And some of you forget the starting point of your roots. It is actually in Arabia. 
Final Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was born in Hejaz, the city of Mecca, in 570 CE. About 1454 years before. Remember, it's in Arabia, near Mecca city where Muslims go for Hajj pilgrimage and Umrah which is the minor pilgrimage. So, now we take this great opportunity, that we Muslims welcome all our scattered and divided family members of First Father Adam alayhi salam and First Mother, Hawa alayhi salam, back to the fold of our true religion, Islam, the first and the last religion of humanity given by God Almighty Allah Himself. You get water from the heaven above you and Islam was sent by Allah from the heaven above you as well. Now someone don't say, I don't know. Sky, stars, earth, moon, planets, oxygen, carbon dioxide etc., they never changed. Did you see anything like that? First man breathed the same oxygen created by Allah. After a long time, people started creating tools, weapons, and materials. Then they started to create new gods and new religions. But Allah Almighty didn't tell them to do it. So these people will be sent to the permanent prison of hell by Almighty Allah after death. Except that we are weak. We can't take one hit of a paw of a tiger or a lion. Few drops of a cobra bite can finish us in a few minutes. But we are the most arrogant species on this earth, challenging the owner, creator, sustainer, Lord and true God Allah. Allah doesn't forgive this greatest sin of kuva and shirk which are totally opposite to Allah's command and guidance, Islam. They will be the residents of Allah's eternal prison, the hellfire. Such people shall be the losers forever to burn in the hellfire. If only they had respected Allah, Islam, his prophets and his books sent for their guidance. They would have been saved by Allah. And would be enjoying the blissful life of heavenly home. But they never treated Allah's words and warnings seriously. Thus they are in hellfire. Allah's religion was always the same, Islam. Now the final laws were given to final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They are given to the requirements of final part. Of humanity, before the end of the world. Since 1400 years, it's going on and when Allah ends the world, until then Islam is the path approved by Allah for the salvation and achieving our final goal to reach heaven. Are you ready for that? Who is he and how to achieve this final goal for all of us humans, they did not question about these in their life here, and thus they failed to gather any info to achieve this goal of their own. The definite answers to reach our final goal and heavenly home safely are in this and other videos on this channel. Please do this today. Links to selected videos are given in this description. Please take a look. These videos will explain to you what to do, for getting entry pass to heavenly home, for permanent residence there, what are your efforts, how much you need to be attached to this goal, what and who are the blockades for you on this path, what you have to do, since you wake up and you go to sleep in the night, etc. The dreadful experience of death for the people who neglected Allah's guidance and commands. Read below. We can't explain in words how hurting is death experience and the dreadful pain afterwards, if you disbelieved Almighty Allah and disobeyed Him. Once the angel of death arrived at the time of a person's death, he will remove the soul most painfully. This is the punishment because this particular person's soul didn't believe in Allah nor did it worship Almighty Allah in this only one time chance of earthly life given by God. So, don't take this channel and its Islam related videos for a joke or time pass. Don't ridicule. Don't be arrogant. I have given in the description of this video, the selected links to my YouTube videos for your info, you can get great benefits from these Islam related videos. For your best info, also in the description, there are links to the translations, meaning and audio recitations of Holy Quran are here. They are the most useful things for you to live and get success and salvation through the mercy of Almighty Allah alone. Once again, a huge thank you to all. Never lag behind in achieving your life's final goal. Start your journey today in this path, if you have been new to this. May Allah keep us dearer and nearer to Him in this life and next eternal world. Amen.